This is the special parallelograms tutorial. In this tutorial, I'd like to talk to you about a couple different special parallelograms. The first is the square. With a square, all of the sides of this quadrilateral are congruent, and its interior angles are all right angles. The diagonals of a square are congruent, they bisect their opposite angles, and they're perpendicular to each other. You can see that we've indicated all of those things in this diagram down below. All four sides of this square are congruent to each other. The diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly, as you can see here with the 90 degree angle. And they're also bisected, cut into two congruent parts. It's also important to note on a square that those diagonals are exactly the same length, which means when they've been bisected, the smaller parts are still congruent to each other. All right, the next special parallelogram I'd like to talk to you about is the rhombus. With a rhombus, the diagonals of this parallelogram intersect perpendicularly and bisect opposite angles. So the opposite angles that we're referring to are here and here. This diagonal here is going to cut that angle into two congruent parts. Now, they're not 90 degrees originally like the square. You can see that that rhombus is kind of tilted off to the side. So this angle here is going to be greater than 90 degrees, and those other two angles we referred to are going to be less than 90 degrees. You'll also note with the rhombus that all four sides are congruent to each other, just like in the square. And those diagonals intersect perpendicularly still, so at a right angle. Lastly, let's talk about rectangles. A rectangle is a parallelogram that has all right interior angles congruent diagonals, and congruent pairs of opposite sides. So you can see that we've indicated all of that here in the diagram. Opposite sides of the rectangle are congruent to each other. All four sides of the rectangle aren't congruent to each other necessarily, but the opposite sides are. Also, the diagonals are congruent to each other. They don't intersect perpendicularly, but they are congruent to each other. And lastly, you want to note that all the interior angles are 90 degrees, just like in the square. So, now that we've discussed rectangles, rhombuses, and squares, we want to practice with them a little bit. I'll begin by drawing in a quadrilateral. Here's our quadrilateral. Now, I'm going to indicate a few things about this quadrilateral, and I want you to determine whether or not it's a square, a rhombus, or a rectangle. And yes, it does look like a square, but you can't tell it's a square until we've indicated those important parts. So now we've provided some important information about this parallelogram. You can see that all four sides of it are congruent, and you can see that the two diagonals intersect each other at a 90 degree angle, so perpendicularly. Could you tell, based on just this information, if we're dealing with a square, a rhombus, or a rectangle? If you need to, pause the video and think about it for a second, or even go back a little bit and review the properties of those three special parallelograms to determine your answer. I'll give you a moment. All right, so the answer to this question is that we're dealing with a rhombus. What's the easiest way to tell that we're dealing with a rhombus? Well, I would say we haven't indicated that any of the four interior angles are 90 degrees. So that eliminates rectangles and squares automatically. Let's try a separate one. Again, we'll begin with a parallelogram that looks suspiciously like a square. And I'll add in some details for you. All right, now given the information that I've provided, what kind of figure do you think this is? Well, this is a square. You can tell because all four interior angles are 90 degrees, which is the same for a rectangle. However, all four sides of this figure are congruent to each other, and that's different than a rectangle. Only that could be a square. Let's try one last one. We'll begin with our parallelogram, and we'll add in some important information. Now, given what you see here, what kind of figure do you think it is? This would be a rectangle. It's a rectangle because all four interior angles are 90 degrees. However, the opposite sides are congruent to each other. 
All four sides aren't congruent, only the opposite sides are congruent, and that is a characteristic solely of the rectangle. So that's the three special parallelograms that you should be aware of, rectangles, rhombuses, and squares.